Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here, and I have another quick tip for you today. This one is about manual focus, specifically when shooting photos like this one. All right guys, so we're up on this bridge in Ikebukuro and there's a cool view of all the buildings and the trains going by. And when I'm shooting these kind of scenes, urban landscape scenes, I much prefer to use manual focus. I find it a little bit more reliable if done right and also more consistent. So once I set my focus, I know the focus will be exactly the same for every single shot. So I don't have to constantly refocus between shots. Now when I do manual focus, I prefer to do it using the screen on the back of the camera rather than um, using the viewfinder. For uh, mirrorless camera users, you're probably using the screen on the back anyway. And you also probably use focus peaking, which is fine, in which case this tip is less relevant to you. But for all you SLR users out there without focus peaking, this will be very useful. So, really briefly, I just want to mention the settings that I currently have for this particular shot. I'm not going to go into detail how I came up with these settings, but this is what they are. I have f8 for the aperture, 6 seconds for the exposure time, and 100 ISO. Okay, and that is a perfect exposure for this particular scene right now. And what I want to show you is how to focus using the live view screen. So I'm going to turn on my live view. So what I like to do is I usually blow up the picture like this, okay? And then I simply manually focus. Very easy, it's very easy. But the little extra trick that I want to include today in this quick tip for you guys is I always open up my aperture all the way before I do this because the camera has already selected f8 which is the, the one that I've, I've input into the camera. So if I zoom back out you'll see that here uh, I've selected f8 as I mentioned already. I'm going to open this all the way up. My 2.8 would be enough. My lens actually goes to 1.4 so I could go as far as that but I'll just do it on 2.8 okay because most people have that, that focal length. And I'm gonna go in here, and now I will do my manual focusing. And you can see that the difference is quite noticeable when you're using a very wide aperture for this. So I'm gonna focus right around here on this uh, steel girder thing, which is kind of in the middle of my scene. I could double check the background with the buildings and see how it looks over there. Looks fine. And now, because I've used the widest aperture to focus, I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm gonna put my aperture back to what it was, back to f8, okay? And now, if I take this picture, I can be very confident that it is absolutely tack sharp, and for every subsequent shot I take, it will be the same focus. I don't have to worry about refocusing. So that's it, guys. It's as easy as that. Use the live view, blow it up, and then do your manual focus while setting the lens to the widest aperture you have so that you can see the focus changing very easily. That's the whole tip. Now, real quick side note, some of you may be thinking, well, I have focus peaking on my camera, so why don't I just use that? And honestly, it's totally fine. If you have a camera with focus peaking, feel free to use it. Some cameras like my older model SLR here do not have focus peaking, therefore, I kind of have to do it this way. But having said that, I kind of prefer doing it this way because I find it just a little bit more reliable. You know, the focus peaking, you're basically trusting the autofocus system to tell you it's in focus. So if the autofocus system is making a mistake, the focus peaking is going to be a little bit off too. This way, when you actually see for yourself, when you blow it up, that it is tack sharp and in focus, you are 100% sure that this photo is going to be sharp later. So that's why I prefer using this method and now you know how to do it as well. So that's it for this tip guys. I hope you find it useful and remember always, challenge your eye.